Terry Connor didn't think his little shop on Fruit Ridge Avenue in Sacramento was an essential service. I was coming in here to put a sign on my window saying I'm closing to after the virus thing because I thought everybody had to be mandatory lockdown or whatever. And staying open turned out to be a good idea because with all that time at home, people were looking for something to do. And it turns out sewing is seeing a resurgence. I've had people banging on my door and stuff, you know, wanting repairs and stuff like this and sew machine repairs. Connard went from selling one machine every six months to selling dozens in April alone. As for repairs... I probably got about eight more sew machines to do for repair today. I'm getting a bobbin casing for my sewing machine. Repairs for people like Marie Correa, who came into Terry's shop today looking for parts. Her machine isn't working and she needs it up and running. I'm making 120 masks for a company that houses homeless and people with drug addiction. So I'm trying to help to make these masks and this is essential to me. And masks are the main reason for the resurgence. Connor says people bring everything from their old dust-ridden machines to ones they bought at thrift stores to him. So many people are wanting to sew, they can't find machines to buy. A lot of them are coming in with, uh, you know, 40, 50, 60-year-old sewing machines for me to repair and stuff, you know, just to get them by, you know. But uh, I've been doing a lot of old sewing machines repairs and stuff. Old technology that Connor thinks will continue to have a resurgence because once people start sewing, he doesn't think they'll stop. In Sacramento, Dave Manocherry, KCRA 3 News.